Hey guys, it's Ashleen. I'm going to jump straight in. i um, doing a cocktail look um, this afternoon because I'm going to an awards night. I've already primed my eyes with the MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pock, Pock Pot in Soft Ochre. Better put the lid on it. I don't want it to get dried out. I am going to be doing my eyes first because I want my skin to have as much time to breathe as possible. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution London Professional Eyeshadow Palette in Neutrals versus Neutrals. And that's what the palette looks like. So I'm just going to do a really, really simple eye look and um, just do a wing and big lashes. So I want to go, I'm going for something a little bit more simple. So I'm going to set it all down using the colour Cool, which is that one there. I'm actually going to try out the brush that it comes with. It's like a double-ended one, but it feels really nice. Actually, no, it doesn't. We're not using that. I have my e.l.f. e.l.f. blending eye brush, so I'm just going to dust this all over. So that colour's all down. I am then going to just run... Um, hmm... This colour here, which is neutral, over my eyelid and just up into the crease. I'm not doing anything else sort of too fancy with it. These are quite nicely pigmented. And I'll be back. So I'm just finishing up this eye. Quite like this Makeup Revolution um, makeup. It's available on Beauty Bay. No, not Beauty Bay. Glam Raider is where I got it. And it's all really reasonably priced. The delivery is not much. They also have Afterpay, which is cool. Um, I tried their um, foundation, the stick foundation yesterday, and I loved it. But I don't know, because we're going to have photos taken tonight, I don't know if it has flashback, so I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to use a smaller brush now and take the colour Bias, which is just like... I don't even know how to describe it. It's this one here. I'm just going to use it as a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. I don't want to put too much shimmer through there. It's just got a tiny bit of shimmer but nothing too sort of over the top. No, I haven't done my eyebrows yet. I'll do that after I've done my foundation. And that's where we're at with the eyes at the moment. I want really simple tonight. I don't want to go over the top. I know that there will be a lot of football wives there. And I don't look like a painted person. Then in the outer corner, I don't know what the colour is called. Adapt, which is this sort of it's like a cool toned 
top. So I'm going to put that in the outer corner. I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm going to put too much there, just a little bit. Now going to line my eyes, I'm going to be using Models Prefer Skinny Liner, Long Lasting Carbon Black Liquid Liner. It's a really, really fine tip on it. But I look like a fool when I do it. So I'm going to do it off camera and I'll be back. Okay, eyeliner and eyelashes are on. I'm not happy because the eyelashes I wanted to use are too stiff at the base and they look like crap. So we're just going to move on. I'm using, um, I've just primed my face with the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. Now I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Foundation in the color Shell. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's going to um, focus or not. I know this one photographs well, so that's what I'm using. I'm going to buff it all in with the buffer and blender. I'm not sure what brand this is. I think I got it from Big W. But it's really soft and it works, so that's what we're going with. using the Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. I am the colour C2. There we go. This is super duper full coverage. Um, and I've heard that it's a good dupe for the Tarte Shape Palette. Uh, Jeffrey Star uses it. Quite a few people, uh, all the big gurus on YouTube use it. It's like seven dollars or something. It's super affordable. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques sponge to blend that in. I'm going to use the Cody Air Spun um, Loose Face Powder to set everything down. This is super messy. Really, really strong smelling. But it's good. It doesn't leave like a white sheen. It doesn't photograph weirdly. And it sets everything in place. Using flat side, I'm just going to press it in to the rest of my face because I want to set everything because it's going to be on all night. While that bakes for a few minutes, I'm going to, oh, I meant to tell you, the lashes that I used were by Manicare and they were uh, intense, the number 31 when. So I have got powder all over my computer. All right, let's do eyebrows. Essence Eyebrow Designer in Brown. So. Got a little brush on the lid, so we're going to do that. Nearly done with the eyebrows. And then 
I'm going to set them down with another Essence product that I found. It's called Make Me Brow. And this one is called Brownie Brows. And it's actually like a eyebrow gel mascara. So it just sort of makes them a bit more... Ah, oh, my earring's sitting funny. That's better. A bit more realistic, a little bit hairier looking. But it also sets them and they do not move once they've been set. Um, there's another product. I think it's... Anastasia or one of those and it's called Give Me Brow. This is Make Me Brow. Very, very similar. Oh, it might be Benefit Give Me Brow. But this one's similar so I've been told. Oops. Eyebrows are on. So I will just quickly run some um, of the same colour that we put through the crease underneath and then we'll put some mascara on and we'll dust away. Oh, this is like a, a Schleen proof. So we'll just take some of that... Um, Adapt the same colour and just Oop. come on back. Going to use the Rimmel Long Lash Extra Long Lash Mascara. I got a new one because my other one I'm sure was out of date. This is a really good um, brush for the lower lash line because it's nice and small. And that's the one. I'm going to contour just using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Uh, this is such an old brush that the what it is is actually rubbed off, so I can't even tell you what sort of brush it is. I just find it sits well in underneath. Dust away the bait because it feels nice and tight now. Just a teensy bit of blush. We're going to use the Milani baked brush. Oh. In the colour Bella Bellini. It's like a rose gold with a bit of gold fleck through it, which is perfect. So. Just went a tiny bit here. I need to wash all my brushes, they are disgusting. Highlight, I'm going to take an e.l.f. blush brush only because it's just a nice little dome one. I'm going to use the model's own Sculpt and Glow Highlighter Powder in Peach Pearl. Which is really super sweet, sweetie, pretty. Okay. That's that bit done. I didn't bring lip stuff with me. I'll go and get it. So I just put a little bit of um, this NYX eye and eyebrow pencil just in a waterline here. It's a brown, it's not black. I don't know what I've done with my black one. Just sort of finishes things off a bit. You're going to use the Maybelline Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil. This one is in the color Red Essential. Just like a fat um, liner slash lipstick. And I 
can hear someone coming up the stairs. So I was going to put something else over the top, but I'm really happy with how that looks. So we are going to finish it off with some Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Setting Spray. I used this the other day. Quite like it. I'm quite happy with it. And that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great afternoon, night, day, evening, week, weekend, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.